This week's tip is about familiarizing yourself with new vendors that come to town. I had a recommendation from a floral designer that I work with pretty frequently who introduced me to a new linen vendor that came to town. And this vendor had beautiful linens. I had never seen linens like this before and they were amazing and they were beautiful. And the lady that was the rep seemed really, really sweet. And I thought, what the heck? Like, let's meet with her, with some of our, our new clients that I think would love her linens. So I set up a meeting when I had a client that I thought would be a good fit for this linen vendor. I didn't go because I trusted that all that the client had to do was look at the different linen swatches and say yes or no. But what happened as a result of that meeting, the bride shared with the linen vendor that she really didn't like flowers that much. And so the linen vendor said, oh, well, I have these beautiful candelabras. If you don't like flowers, why don't you just rent my candelabras? And you don't have to have flowers on every table, which is true, and that's fine. So we paid a hefty deposit. So now the linen vendor was also providing the decor. Again, that was fine. I showed up to the hotel where the ceremony and the reception was taking place. This specific venue has multiple locations for receptions and ceremonies. So I go in and I receive a text message that the room is set. So I came in to make sure everything was good to go and the ballroom looked amazing. But the second location where 10 other tables were for dinner, they didn't have any candelabras on them. So I called the vendor and she yelled at me and told me that she was in a different city doing this huge red carpet event. She had an assistant and that she would call the assistant and call me back. Well, I waited and waited and waited and she never called me back. Uh, I would say it felt like five hours. It was probably 30 minutes. But I was just wondering where the heck are my other candelabras? So finally, um, the assistant did call me back and she said, I put candelabras on every table that your floor plan showed and I left every single thing there. I'm sorry. So as the wedding started to get closer to time for the dinner reception, I, I told the hotel manager, we're just gonna have to come up with something else. What do you guys have in house? Do you have mirrors? Do you have candles? What do you have? And so they brought some decor in so the tables weren't empty. And I was hoping that the bride and groom wouldn't notice that the second room didn't have the same candelabras. But of course, they decided to greet each table because it was a seated dinner. And the first thing the bride says to me as I'm checking on them and they're greeting their tables in the second room, she said, where's the candelabras? And I said, well, it's a long story, but don't worry about it. Please keep having fun. We'll address it later. I always try to just tell the brides, please keep having fun. Don't worry about it. So after the wedding was over and after the weekend, I communicated with that linen vendor and she accused me of stealing the candelabras. Well, unfortunately for her, I was raised by an undercover detective, and I know that there's security cameras everywhere these days, right? So I called the security department, had the footage pulled, and it showed her assistant loading the extra candelabras into their van. She actually didn't understand that there were two different rooms that she needed to put candelabras on. So had she just communicated with me a little bit more, we would have been able to get the candelabras there on time and I wouldn't have caught two people pretty much in a lie. Why would I want candelabras? As a planner, I really don't want anything because all of my brides want different things. That's the reason I outsource to prop builders and designers and floral designers. So needless to say, that relationship did not move forward very well and I had other weddings booked with this person that I had to be civil on and and just pray that, that this person was gonna do her job and show up on time and make sure that what my client was paying for, we were actually going to get. Unfortunately, we did have future problems with this vendor. So my last piece of advice would be to just go with your client, make sure that you know the vendor and what their intent is, and make sure that you guys are on the same page. It would have really saved a lot of heartache in the long run. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. 
If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.